Hey guys, we're here today in Valheim with a quick video just updating the comfort list and looking at what it takes to get max comfort in the game as of the Mistlands update since a lot has changed since Hearth and Home. For starters, the most important thing to know about comfort is it comes from the resting buff which can only be acquired when you are near a fire. You can become rested anytime you're near a fire and inside of shelter or if your character is sitting down. Each point of comfort you gain increases the rested buff by one minute. Another important thing to note is each comfort item reaches 10 meters away from its center point. And much like the workbench, this range is in a sphere, meaning that if you are placing a comfort item on the bottom floor of a house and you are up on the second floor, you might not get the comfort at the same distance as you would on the same level of it. The 10 meter range on these items does originate from the center point of the item, which means a long heavy table will seem like it reaches farther than a round table because the center point is pushed off the wall that much farther. But in reality, it's taking up most of the room it provides comfort to. So when you have two items that are tied in comfort level, typically it's better to go with a smaller item because it does not absorb as much of the room for you to move around in. Now Valheim breaks down its comfort items into different categories. Anything within the same category will overwrite each other and the higher item will win, making it obsolete to place multiple of the same category in the room unless you like it for decoration purposes. Here we have the different categories color coded and showing each of the items in those categories and how much comfort they provide. And while quite a few of the categories have multiple items and choices in it, a few of them are just their own item and will be required to reach max comfort since you have no other choice to gain those points. Now the total points that you can get in comfort is 16. You would gain two total from the bed category, three total from the chair category, two from the table category, two from the hearth and the fire category, one from any of the rugs, one from any banner, one point for an armor stand, two for a lit hot tub, and finally two from having shelter itself. Now, if you have no aversions to developer mode and using commands, you can gain access to the maypole and the yule tree, which will both add one additional point, allowing you to get up to 18 total comfort. It's important to note that maypoles can be found out in the wild, very rarely in the meadows biome, and they will provide one comfort in a 10 meter radius around them, just as if you built it. So keep an eye out for these if you're trying to maximize how much comfort you can get in your playthrough. The last important thing to note is the fire buff radius is eight meters long for every version of the campfire up until the hearth, which is a 12 meter radius. This being different than the 10 meter comfort radius means that early game when you're using just campfires, you may go outside of your fire buff radius, even though you should still be within your comfort radius and lose the buff entirely. It also means that once you get to the hearth quality, you do have the option to place the hearth slightly farther away than the rest of the items and still gain the fire buff and get rested more easily. Hopefully this video helped you out if you're trying to get to max comfort and couldn't figure out what you were missing, or you simply wanted a compiled list of all the items you would need to acquire and need to place in your building to get to that number. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.